So we'll do some breathing here. Is everybody comfortable enough to uh, stay in this position? I feel that at the very best when I'm when I'm doing yoga, when I'm in this class. I mean, I do my own thing at home too, but with the weakness on the left side, it, I really need an assistant to help the left side. Generation, there's that gap in the nerve, so like that that electric signal to say move your toes, you can't get there. Anne and Betty are so intuitive to put us into positions where we get movement. We try to adapt to, um, <clears throat> to be able to encompass a real yoga experience. The postures have aspects to them that encourage a flow of energy that people with restricted movements can appreciate. Well, the yoga classes don't cure MS, but it takes the symptoms and really relieves them for a while, and sometimes a long while, and sometimes there's progress. And let everything go. Softening your visceral body. We're all gonna have different disabilities, and we're all gonna have parts of our body that work better than other parts, and you know, by doing yoga and learning how to position our body and work different muscles in a different way, that kind of helps us learn to, how to compensate. I get frustrated because I'm not moving as much as I'd like to. It's just the nature of the disease. And you just accept it and go on and smile.